picture the impact of climate change. What do you see? Rising sea levels? Failed crops? What about struggling small businesses? No, didn't think so. But extreme weather events, which are likely to happen more often because of climate change, are already highlighting new drought challenges for small businesses in southern Africa. Take Botswana. Gaborone Dam supplies most of the capital city's drinking water. But in 2015-16, El Nino weather patterns made the region extremely dry and lake levels dropped to historically low levels. By the end of 2015, demand for water surpassed supply by almost 33 million litres a day. Some of the worst affected areas were without a reliable water supply for weeks at a time, causing major problems for businesses. Hotels, for example, struggled to change linens, prepare food and supply guests with flushing toilets and showers. In Zambia, meanwhile, the El Nino contributed to widespread disruption to power supplies. The capital city, Lusaka, depends on Lake Kariba hydropower station for electricity. Falling lake levels meant not enough electricity could be produced to meet demand. During the 12 months surrounding the El Nino, three quarters of small businesses experienced 15 or more power outages a month, often lasting more than five hours. In cafes, food was ruined. In manufacturing businesses, production was interrupted and equipment was damaged by the power cuts. As the El Nino drew to a close, small businesses, which provide most employment opportunities in sub-Saharan Africa, rated power outages in Lusaka and water supply disruption in Gaborone as the greatest obstacles for their businesses. These challenges, which extend beyond Zambia and Botswana, are likely to get worse in future. Cities are growing rapidly in sub-Saharan Africa and more people are connecting to water and electricity grids and more extreme and extended periods of drought are likely as a result of climate change. Action is needed from governments, development agencies, investors and civil society to make the supply of electricity and water more resilient to drought and to help businesses adapt to climate change. Because the impacts of climate change go to the very heart of livelihoods in sub-Saharan Africa. The global food system is under pressure. Over the next 35 years, the growing global population will demand more food than has ever been produced in human history. But food security faces a number of challenges across both production and consumption, which research will be essential to solve. Agriculture is essential, but uses 70% of all fresh water, produces around a third of all greenhouse gas emissions and can lead to biodiversity loss and soil degradation. With no new land for agriculture, finding new methods to sustainably produce more food on available land will be essential. At the same time, food consumption patterns need to change. One in three people suffer from some form of malnutrition, from hunger and undernutrition to overweight and obesity, making poor diets the most significant cause of global disease. Demand for more resource-intensive products, such as meat and dairy, continues to grow in every region, whilst a third of the food produced each year is wasted. On the current trajectory, the food system will likely account for most of the carbon budget for a two-degree temperature rise by 2050, leaving little space for other sectors and making it almost impossible to meet the Paris Agreement. Climate change to this degree will alter what can be grown and where, while also increasing extreme weather and changing the spread of pests and diseases. This will lead to food production shocks, potentially triggering food price spikes and civil unrest. The Global Food Security Programme is working to address these challenges through research. We bring together the major UK public funders of food security research and work with stakeholders and researchers from different disciplines to help deliver a healthy and sustainable food system. To find out more about the Global Food Security Programme, visit foodsecurity.ac.uk.